at the dark end of the street that is where we always meet hiding in shadows where we don't belong living in darkness to hide Hey, sports fans, it's Sly Wagon Lessons. We're back again today with a good old-fashioned cheating song in the rack, Dark End of the Street. It was written and recorded in the mid-60s, uh, first recorded by James Carr, not to be confused with Jimmy Carr. He's a British comedian. James Carr, the uh, American soul singer. Percy Sledge did a version, I think about a year later, uh, which is very good. Um, and The Commitments. Remember that movie from the early 90s? Uh, the Commitments included Dark End of the Street um, in their set and on the soundtrack as well. So uh, you could give that a listen again if you've got it uh, kicking around or uh, find it on the interwebs. Uh, Dark End of the Street. It's a simple little song. Um, not too many chords. There's a G, a D with a F sharp minor so how I achieve that one is just your standard D chord if you can see that in the chord cam and then I hook my thumb over and I'm gonna hit that uh, F sharp and that uh, makes for a nice bass run down to the E minor and that because that's how it goes right so you can pick that G makes a nice little run down okay and that's the first part of the verse uh, then you're going to see a C and a D. I think that's it. That is all the chords. So you can uh, watch in the chord cam and see the uh, chord changes. This is a uh, little solo based on the melody, basically, of the song that you could throw in between verses of, um, of this uh, great song about... Uh, cheating <laughs> and hanging out at the dark end of the street all right so uh i'm going to put all the notes up in the picto tab here where a blue square means blow and a red square means draw just as simple as that. You can uh, bend some notes for um, effect if you want to, not critical to the song. And then if you could also work in, uh, I think it sounds nice with a bit of vibrato, if you can achieve that in the, the first, as you're doing that rundown, right? From a G to the D with the F sharp down to the E minor. sound kind of cool so uh play around with that one and add uh, a cheating song to your set a dark end of the street <laughs> <laughs> 
So, a pretty quick lesson today on how to play the harmonica and the guitar together on Dark End of the Street by James Carr, or Percy Sledge, or The Commitments, or you, uh, coming soon to a kitchen party uh, near you. Just before I go, I wanted to show you that they do, for the last verse of this song, uh, they modulate up uh, a half step. So, the song is in G. For the last verse, they modulate up to an A flat. So I'll just show you real quick how you could um, then, if, if you're interested, you don't have to do that when you're presenting it. And you should know that once you modulate, the harmonica playing is, is kind of done, right? <laughs> because the one that you've got in your holder is no longer going to be in the, uh, the proper key. So you're in G, then after that last verse, you modulate up to an A flat, which you can get here with an E shaped chord slid up to the fourth uh, fret. There's your A flat. Then to do simulate that walk down. Oh, sorry. I'm going to try and keep it in the chord cam. So you got your A flat there at the fourth fret. Slide up and use an uh, A shape up here at the um, <laughs> three, or four, five, six, six fret. Yeah. So bar it at the sixth fret. Make an A shape with your um, with your ring finger there, and that is an E flat, right? Then up to an F minor, which is at the uh, eighth fret. Use an A minor shape uh, with these three fingers here. A minor, and then bar it at uh, at that eighth fret. So it sounds like this. Oops, sorry. That's right. Okay, and from there, uh, the chords um, you just transpose them to the new key, which is just a half step up to uh, end the song. So I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, quick lesson on how to play Dark End of the Street. Great soul song that you might remember from uh, The Commitments or maybe Percy Sledge or perhaps James Carr. Uh, that was in first position, right? We played uh, in the key of G. I thought while we've got the G harmonica in our uh, racks for today, we might uh, go out with a little bit of goofing around with blues in the key of A. So you're going to find your home uh, note there. Find a root note at four draw. So just play around with this. Do some, um, some uh, bending of those draw notes and a little bit of staccato and have some fun on the way out today, all right? Hey, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to Sly Wagon Lessons on your way out. We'll keep the song-based instruction coming on how to play the harmonica and the guitar together. Nice, see you again.